Hi, this is Linda Rogers, owner of Planning Within Reach. I just want to talk to you about if and when you should purchase an umbrella policy. For the most part, if you have net worth of $500,000 or more, this is something you should consider getting. It's not a hard and fast rule though. For example, if you are a high income earner and you don't have a lot of assets, you should still consider getting one because if someone sues you and you really did something terrible and were found guilty, they can even go after your future income. So let me just show you how an umbrella policy works. Okay, so let's say that you are in a car accident and you get sued for a million dollars. Typically, your auto liability coverage kicks in first and most places the max coverage that you can get is $500,000. So if your net worth is a million dollars or more, then you are exposed for that extra amount. So you could have an umbrella policy, let's say you have a million dollar coverage, then it will kick in for that remaining balance that you were sued for. Same thing if someone gets hurt in your home. That umbrella policy can cover also your home. So you get sued for a million dollars, the home liability coverage will kick in first, and then the umbrella steps in next. A million dollar umbrella coverage can be as low as $200 per year. So it's definitely worth that cost to have that peace of mind when you get have higher net worth. Um, you may have to increase these underlying coverages first. So for example, if your home policy only has $300,000 as the liability coverage, they may require you to bump that up to $500,000 before securing the umbrella policy, and that is fine. That way you would have, in this example, $1.5 million of protection. So question that I often will get is, are retirement accounts protected? The answer is sometimes yes. It will depend on the type of account and the state that you are in. So OJ Simpson was found liable in civil court and had um, to pay millions of dollars in compensation. And he had a defined benefit plan with the NFL and that ended up being protected. It was something called an ERISA plan where people could not get access to that money. So there are some protections for retirement accounts, but something as simple as doing a direct rollover from an old employer's 401k to an IRA, which is extremely common, can remove that protected status. So in practice, you know, most people want to simplify their financial lives and have less accounts or move their money to where they can have better lower cost investment options. So therefore, we just recommend obtaining enough liability insurance to cover your net worth. And um, that way, if something unexpected happens, you can be made whole financially. Make sure that once you get the coverage in place, it's something that you review at least once a year just to make sure you don't need to increase coverage. For example, with inheritances or large bonuses or just having your assets grow consistently over time, there could be a reason to go ahead and add another million dollars of coverage to keep you fully protected. Reach out with any questions. My name is Linda Rogers, owner of Planning Within Reach.